What's going on, everybody? It's Childish. We're back at it again with a brand new video for Might and Magic Elemental Guardians. Today, we're going to be featuring a run in the Tower of Trials using my main team in order for me to clear the waves. Now, uh, I'm going to be provide some recommendations as far as what I consider a very, very strong team when it comes to TOT grinding. However, I'm also going to show you a team that you can use if you don't have some of the more OP units in a game. One of which is the one we're seeing right here. So if you guys have no idea which unit this is, stick around because you definitely don't want to miss it. Getting back to what we were talking about, right guys? We were talking about, uh, we just made the argument about not having all the greatest, you know, units in the game and, and you know, kind of having to figure out um, you know, things that you can do in order to get past stuff. But if anybody's playing any kind of turn-based, you know, game like this that had this kind of, you know, mechanic of the 100 foes, you know, things, you, you guys understand the value of, of, uh, uh, uh AoE poison, uh, crowd control in order to get it done. But one of the things that I still, to this day, I don't put, I, I don't give enough credit to is, is just simply turn advantage. Whether we're talking about speed buffs, speed breaks, uh, attack bar improvement, attack bar reduction. Um, all those things come into play when it comes to uh, getting past you know stages like this where things get to really, really difficult. Um, if you guys have seen in my previous videos, I did, uh, I cleared a lot of content in TOT with uh, basically uh, my Earth Nymph, my Water Arcane Bird, my Earth Felicor, or actually my Air Assassin. Um, air unicorn and plus one so basically I was running my rat 10 dungeon in here and clearing a lot because you know I invested a glyphs into those units and they did really well but the, I, I struggled because in this game in TOT the higher you go the higher the the speed of these units are in this game right so if you if you if you guys didn't know there the stage 80 um, has the earth I think it's the earth necro uh, that has he has some like 182 speed uh, starting out. So if you don't have enough speed, uh, you are going to get wrecked, right? You're going to get, he's going to get the first turn. He's going to do his crazy amount of CC, his parasites, his disabling. And if you don't have some kind of cleanser with immunity or if you don't have a high amount of resistance, you're going to hurt. So, you know, in addition to having your basic crowd control, turn advantage by any means necessary is super important. And that's what's allowed me to kind of push through the content now. We'll do a quick run here. Um, with what I've been doing. So I think I went, yeah, I think I brought, I did bring a poisoner. I did bring uh, this one right here. Fire nip. I brought in the freezing brassless. This is the, this was my plus one for TOT, the regular TOT. This was my plus one. Um, and then, and then as of recent, um, I was using, I was using the fire kappa uh, to, to get the job done. You know, to add a little bit more poisons, a little bit more of a bursty mechanic. But honestly, it really wasn't needed. Once I got myself a second cooldown reducer, um, you know, I threw him in there. And so, honestly, we can get the job done with the four-man team right here. The second unit, or the plus one, is really irrelevant. It's more of a... Uh, it's more of a... Taking advantage of the freeze and basilisk with two-turn freeze. Plus, uh, turn advantage, attack bar manipulation and uh whatever kind of you know damage you're bringing in order to you know consistently bring the unit down which aoe poison is, is just going to be the way to go um and so obviously the water holy sister being able to cleanse you know reset the cooldowns it, it obviously allows me to uh get those two turn freezes as, and, and those aoe poison as quick as possible but the thing of it is is that the attack bar manipulation of the fire nip is one of the strongest attack bar manipulations in the game she can improve the attack bar by 60% when max. And this is a three star unit. Uh, so it's really, really strong. Um, and so uh, I, I'm really, I'm just really a big fan of attack bar manipulation. If I didn't have a second cooldown resetter, I would throw in another ATB booster. I probably would use the fire arcane bird. Um, whoops, whoops, whoops. <laughs> okay, okay. So I think all the units did what they were supposed to do. Let's go ahead. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna wait a second. I'm gonna wait a second because I did not use, I did not use my, uh, I did not use my second skill on the fire and here. But yeah, we we probably we probably could have done it here. So yeah, again, attack for two turns, sixty percent 
attack bar manipulation. Take a look at this, guys. Three turn cooldown. Three turn cooldown. So, I mean, it's really, really strong. Now we'll go ahead and cleanse. And we're going to wait a second because we want we want to use all the AoE, AoE dots here. We're going to use the second skill again. It's available because of the fact that we have that cooldown reduction. I'm just going to heal for fun. Get another cooldown reset. And we'll play around with more ATB. More freezes. It's a never ending. It's like infinite. It's like infinite right here. Again, I'm, I'm wasting poisons right now. It really doesn't mean anything. Because the way the way my with my with my luck here on the two units, the two cooldown resetters, it's pretty it's it's pretty OP, right? But honestly, I, I almost wish I just took it out just so you guys can see that it's it's doable. It's doable without it. And let's say you don't have cooldown reset. Okay, let's say you don't have cooldown reset. That just gives you another spot for attack bar manipulation. So for example, if you are running Freezing Basculus plus Earth Feather Core plus whatever AoE Poisoner there, right? Freezing Basculus plus AoE Poisoner, and you had no cooldown resetters, then I would be throwing in three attack bar manipulations in there um, easily. Because again, even if you don't have anything to cooldown reset, you could still give yourself turn advantage by constantly improving the speed. And if you have some other unit that you can throw in there that may do like AoE Poison, but also has a different mechanic like an AoE Slow, to slow down the opponent's attack bar increase, then that's going to help you in addition to that. Or some kind of skill that provides a speed buff, which I'm getting from the Water Holy Sister, right? So it's all... There's a lot of things that could be done. There's a lot of things that we could done. Let's see. All right, so let's do it. We'll do it again here. We're going to save our AoE skill. Again, using the second skill, even though everybody else is kind of cleansed up, it's all good. I think the Water... Did I use my, did I use my second skill? Oh, here, no, 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 okay, okay, yeah. I was sitting there, right, did the, free, the freezing basilisk go already? Okay, let's go ahead and, we'll go ahead and cool down reset right now. Attack bar manipulation, blind. I think we need to wait one more turn, right? Because I think I still have, I still have, I think I have poisons coming up. We're just gonna go ahead and protect. For those of you guys that are fortunate enough to have the Air Crusader, don't be afraid to throw your second skill on whoever uh, whoever seems to be a target. So if you have a stage where you have uh, four, three to four units that are going to have elemental advantage towards one of your strongest, you know, units, whatever, throw throw on the shelter just just in case like a, a freeze doesn't land or whatever, right? So cleanse. And again, you guys are probably wondering, like, why in the world are you not using the uh, poison? I think we can get away with it and get it back by the time that we do this uh, third stage. But I'm just, I'm not trying to add any added damage right now. Uh, just for the simple fact that we we got everything under control. We'll go ahead and throw AoE poisons for the time being, though. Because we got, I think our cooldown reset is available. Let's go ahead and heal up there. Might as well. Okay. So I think I need to do one reset here. I think I wasted... I think I have one... One freeze? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I am, a, I am a little bit off here. So they they may actually get a turn. I did not count my uh, skills here. This is the downside at this stage. We have two air giants. So let's take a look here. We'll go ahead and reset. We got the attack bar increase, but... We lost it. Oh my goodness, we lost them. Okay, let's go ahead and get the poisons in. Let's get the attack bar in. Let's get the freezes in. Reset. We should still be able to do it. Everybody's frozen with the exception of this guy, so let's put the blind on him. Get the heals on. Get the poisons on. And we'll get the heal over time because we're gonna have in, in, in a couple of turns here we're gonna have our we're gonna have our uh, we're gonna have our uh, cooldown back again. My water holy sister is running on a double meditation, so everything's good. We definitely want to throw that freeze back on because we only have one out of the five units left. And again, sixty percent, dude. It's too strong. It's it, I feel like it's 
I feel like you're getting an additional turn. Like it's just way too strong. Okay, and that should that should be it. That should be it. I should be able to auto it out right now. So yeah, if you have the Air Crusader, that's gonna be a clutch TOT monster for you. If you have the Water Holy Sister, you're in luck because that's gonna be another clutch TOT monster for you. Any cooldown resetter is good. And for cooldown resetters, like, especially for like the Water Holy Sister, I mean, you can make an argument for any one. I, I would, but meditation, super important. Gotta get meditation, whatever you can. So um, I'll take a look. We'll, we'll showcase the units real quick here. Um, so Water Holy Sister right now, um, she's running a single meditation, but she's going to be able to go up to double meditation uh, sooner than later because we actually have the the crystals now. Notice that we are not running maxed speeds here because I want her to be the last one to go. I want everybody to use her skills and then I want her to be able to reset them, right? There's no point in her being fast if she's resetting the cooldowns of a unit that has he used his skills already, right? So she's the main unit here. There's no point in bringing in any other kind of support in the sense of like a healer, because all we're doing is crowd controlling and moving through it, right? So let's see. Really nothing to talk about the Earth Felicor. Earth Felicor, he gets tankier and tankier as he improves. Um, get his accuracy as high as possible while maintaining the decent amount of speed, defense, and uh, HP if you can. Um, these are kind of right in line, uh, HP and defense wise, this is kind of right in line with what I generally recommend for Rat 10. Um, if you have the elemental advantage horse, if you have an air base unit, then you can get away with a little less. But I think for all non-air elements, that's that's pretty good. You can make an argument for a little bit more HP. Uh, but I do, I've done really well, really well with those stats on him. Uh, let's take a look here. So Fire Nymph, um, she's running Haste Vitality, or sorry, Haste Appeasement. Correction, Vitality Appeasement. I'm gonna probably push her on to um, double appeasement and the reason is guys the way how I use her um, you know you can run you can run a double meditation set or run a single set meditation set. you're gonna get a little value out of it but she already has super low cooldowns and the way I use my comp I already have two cooldown resetters so I'm she's gonna be able to use the main skill which I want to use uh, the second skill a lot right um, so I'm not too concerned about her having meditation right now uh, but in other stages where I might use her for a strength 10 um, we could make an argument for that, or uh, if I want to get a little bit more value out of her heal, like I feel like a, an appeasement set's going to be nice to throw on there, right? Um, Freezing Basilisk, this is the one that's gotten a little bit of love recently. I had 3 million crystals like a week ago, and I burned a lot just improving some of the units here for TOT, because I realized that as you get higher in TOT, the base speed uh, of these units are a little bit higher, so you have to you have to be able to get that first turn. If you're not using like a, a straight up attack bar booster, and remember that my fastest, uh, my fastest set is on my is on my fire goblet shaman for PVP, right? But uh, double appeasement is nice on her. Uh, keep in mind that that uh, these these glyphs are these are some really old vitality glyphs. We're, we're, we're gonna we're gonna eventually get her off there, but we should be good there. Let's see. Freezing Bastards, we looked at the Fire Nymph. We looked at this one, this one. And then the last one here was the um, Air Crusader. Air Crusader is a is a joke right now. He does not have good glyphs, but like I said, it doesn't really matter if you have the proper CC comp and you understand the rotations of your skills and abilities, then you can get away with a little bit lower stats because all he's there is to reset. And if things get a little crazy, you got the second skill here um, to prevent somebody uh, from taking a lot of damage here with that shelter. Nice skill, nice heal. I generally just throw it on some unit that may potentially get hit on a specific stage, but um, that's pretty much it for my TOT. As far as bosses go, uh, I will take out, uh, I will probably take out my AoE Poisoner. I'll probably take out the Earth Felicor and bring in the Air Basilis and just use the Air Basilis if I can. Uh, if he doesn't have any kind of immunity or whatnot. We still have to keep in the Water Basilisk, obviously, for the two-turn freeze. And the cooldown resetters are important. But uh, overall, I think that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, as always, uh, feel free to hit me up. But uh, I want to give a shout-out real quick to my man, FFP. I'm sorry, <laughs> FFP. PPF. He was one of the guys that actually beat um, TOT uh, a while back. Uh, with just two to three star units and he reminded me 
um, of a couple of key units that uh, I should be messing around with. And it actually, his, his thought process led me into another idea that end up being what I'm doing right now. So it's, it's super cool to get that, uh, get that support there.